This is a story about how misinformation can change behavior in a bad way. And no, it's not about politics. I had a client many years ago that every time I would see her several times a year, she'd shout out before she even got close to me, how are my stocks doing? How are my stocks doing? And the funny thing is we were talking about a retirement account. We weren't talking about a day trading account. And she may have had, let's say, five funds in that account maybe 150 stocks in each one, 750 stocks total, not even including the bond investments. But she was reacting to the news and the fear-mongering that she was exposed to in the media, the daily media, and worrying about her retirement account based on what they were telling her every day while they were trying to sell ads. So one time I decided, I knew I was going to see her, so, thought I'd try to see if I could modify her behavior a little bit. So next time I saw her and she yelled out, how are my stocks doing? And I yelled out, which ones? Got her to pause for a little little time. And, and from there, I started asking questions that I kind of knew the answers to. I reminded her that she was going to be retiring in about 10 years, right? And she said, yeah. And you're, you're going to move? Aren't you going to sell your house and maybe move down south somewhere? Sunny? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, well, great. I found a service that can actually send you information. Every week you'll get a summary of what your house would sell for so that you can keep track of the value between now and the time you retire. And she's like, what? I said, yeah, it'll give you your value of your house every week um, until you retire 10 years from now. And she thought about it. I said, well, no, why would I want to do that? I'm not selling it for 10 years. I don't want to know that every week. That'd be crazy. Bingo. And she took a few seconds and then she realized, oh, so I probably shouldn't be looking at my retirement stuff, my investments every week or every day if I'm not going to even think about using them 10 years from now. So that was a, it was an epiphany for her time that she turned from day trader and um, media digester to long-term investor.